Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Sam Katie 4 and welcome to Avian Colony, a city builder where you need to colonise other planets. And that just sounded like a great excuse to sit down, have a bit of fun and, well, see what's going on. So, you know what? Let's get into it. I think as I've not done anything on this before, yeah, I think we'll jump into the campaign just so, yeah, I can get some of the basics. And who knows, depending on how this video does and anyone's, you know, opinions and the feedback I get, we might come back at a later date to do a bit of fun in the sandbox. So, Let's get on and see what this is all about, shall we? Okay, right, so here we are in, well, officially mission one, but it's the third one we have actually, I'm actually doing. The first two were just like training missions, learning how to use the camera, how to build, what to build, all that usual stuff that the games usually throw at you. So, okay, first things first, we've got a mission Welcome. available. Your colonists have been informed of your arrival and are eager to see what their leader can do for them. Okay, so yeah, we're all apparently on a planet called Venar. And our first objective is to build a water pump. And we're going to receive 13 nanites from it. That's fine, because yeah, we'll go through everything quite quickly, hopefully. And anything we need later on, then yeah, I'll go through it as it comes up. So, we've got down here, let's have a look what we've got here. So, we've got storage, we've got three storage. So, okay, solar modules for power. Oxygen, yep, we need oxygen. That's another solar panel, but that's a better one than these. So, that's giving me four, that's giving me 26, okay. Construction drone hub, we need that working because that's uh, how we build everything. And the lander is where everybody is living. Okay. So, yeah. Power is being generated and distributed through the connection. So, if a building touches another building, power automatically passes. And, of course, any of the tunnels, power passes through them automatically as well. So, yeah. Let's say this power wasn't here. The power would come from, say, this one, and then it would move along up into that. So as long as it's connected, we're fine. We also have to keep our colonists happy. So they need food, water, entertainment, all the good stuff to keep them going, as well as, yeah, anything else that they ask for. And, yeah, we have got an objective that did flash up right at the beginning. Something about a museum. I didn't quite catch it because I was checking other stuff at the time. So, whoops. I'm hoping that will come up at some point. But, yes, we've got the water pump to build. That's our first thing. So, yeah, we can zoom out and we can see uh, the quite a nice area. But if we just zoom out a little bit more... I get a proper overview of the map. Now, this is the area we can build in, do whatever we want or need to. If we come out a bit further, yeah, we've um, got points of interest around that I'm assuming at some point down the line we can go and investigate. So, we'll see about that. Okay, let's get back down to where we were. And, okay. It's been bouncing, so here we go. You want the water pump. That's a tier what? Ah. Okay, atmospheric condenser. Requires seven power, three workers. And extracts modest amount of water from the atmosphere. Less effective, but can 
generate water anywhere. You can also split water to generate oxygen, improving air quality. Okay, so it improves the air, what's good, and gives us water. Fine. Water treatment plant. Recycles water used by colonists in any adjacent resident structure. Okay, so don't need that one at the moment. Okay, water pump. Extracts water from underground. To avoid filling the colony's inventory with water, it only pumps when the colony's water per citizen is too low. Okay, so at the moment, yeah, down the bottom here, we can see our food. We've got 484, but I'm losing 2.1. I don't know how often, but we're losing 2.1, so I need to produce more food. Water, yeah, 2.5. So, yeah, I need to get that up for what we're going to do with... Oops, the water pump. Right. Okay, I was expecting to have to put it on the actual water, but no. Okay, so... Let's have a look. Yeah, the more blue or darker the blue, the better, I'm assuming. So, let's test that out. 12.6, yeah, 16.2, so, have a look, oh, I've got an 18 there, that's nice, okay, so 18 is the best, but it is pretty far out the way, you're not too bad at 16.2, so you know what, oh, it's right there on the left that tells you, of course, right, never mind, 16.2 i'll take that so yeah we're gonna build that and it's nanites we use to build anything if we need to build some it's nanites if we don't have the nanites we can't build so let's just attach use there set the time off and there we go we've got a drone coming out and Building. I don't know how many drones we've got, but I can apparently upgrade it. So, upgrade to tier 2. I get an extra drone for 12 nanites. You know what? Might as well for now, because that will speed... Oh. Ah, to wait for this drone to come back to upgrade it. Okay, that's fine. We'll just wait with that. And once you're built... Yeah, if we'd had two, we could have built multiple things at a time. Speeding up everything. There we go. Pump two. Wait a minute. How many colonists do I actually have? Okay, I've got 16 at the moment. Okay, so... Pump to 16. Okay, to avoid clogging... Yeah, when there's water less than 16 per colonist. Okay, fine. So it only works when needed and why are you purple and you're not i don't know I feel worthless without a job you've got a job water pump all right maybe he's just not realized it yet he's lined up for it though right you're upgrading that now good right that's you done Five. Your colony Next. benefit from a higher level of food output. Okay, yep, yeah, that was my next thing anyway. So build a farm. Okay, that is fine by me. We've got greenhouses as well. 22 nanites, 8 power. Grows crops for food. Can grow crops at 50% efficiency in winter. This is placed over existing soil, so predictable. Productivity depends on the underlying soil quality. No idea what that means, but okay. Does not work in winter. Okay, right. So it's cheaper, but it only works when we're not in winter. And yeah, down here. Yeah, apparently we're in spring at the moment, so that's fine. Okay, once a farm. And yeah, the question is... What food shall we grow? Because at the moment, yeah, I've only got six I can grow. So, barley, but, yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to do too well with that. 
broccoli. Even worse. Corn. Ooh. Probably about the same as barley, to be honest. Okay, melon. Melons are not bad. Okay. Quinoa? Nope. And rice. No. Okay, it looks like we're going to be living off melons. I don't know how long you can live off a melon for, but we're going to have to give it a go. So, let's see if I can find anywhere good nearby. The best I've been able to find within, yeah, near is the 7.7 .7 an hour. So, okay, we'll build you. And again, just connect the paths up. And this time, we should have two drones coming out to build. Good. So, yeah. Build them two for me, please. Thank you. Move on up. And now the question is, will they both build that last one? Or, yeah, good. We both will. Okay, so I'm assuming that's getting done twice as quick then. Fine. Okay, and there we go. Right, we've got our farm Hello, up Governor. and running. I wanted to remind you that the mission objectives from my team are here only to guide you. While several of these objectives are necessary in order to complete your mission, your first priority should be the safety of your colony. As an experienced colony governor, we trust your judgment. And I urge you to take your time and put your colonists ahead of your mission. Good luck. Okay, well that's nice. Normally it's you do what we say or you're fired, but okay. You want me to put my colonists first? I think we can do that. But farm-wise, yeah, I think we'll just knock your priority up to high. I don't think we need to max it out, but just for now, we'll uh, actually, you know what? No, let's make sure the farm is maxed out priority. Okay. Right, what's the next one you've got lined up for we me? We have some thoughts on how to best expand your colony. Okay, that's fine. That's food and nanites. Okay, build a wind turbine. Should be easy enough. Oh, wow. That would be... In fact, we can actually build that. I've got enough nanites. I think that's me nanites, yeah. 120 nanites generates up to 800 power. 400 in winter, but 800 the rest of the year. Not bad. Okay. What else? Energy battery. Okay, so, yeah. If we're producing more than we need, what it looks like we are. Yeah, you would be good. That's not bad, actually. I might put one of you in anyway. So... You know what? You're my, yeah, main source of power. So put you there. Not that I think it really matters, but still, put you there. And geothermal generates up to 200. Okay, generates electricity from geothermal vents and prevents release of toxic gas. Right, fine. Solar panels and the wind turbine that you want. Okay, generates up to six power. Right. Um, wait a minute, does it need, no, it doesn't use any workers, so that's fine, so in that case, yeah, you just slot in there if you don't mind, okay, and I'm guessing that's the geothermal vent it was on about, okay, well, I'm sure we can do that in a bit, okay, there we go, there, now, built, that gave me fair whack of power and yeah the battery is starting to slowly fill up although yeah it's gonna take a while because i'm not getting that much I but we'll get more soon you know be a good idea okay that's fine i was planning on that anyway right yeah show me where this copper mine is oh it's right there fine that's easy enough to do so you oh well i don't really have a choice so yeah i mean i wouldn't really want to live next door to a mine but yeah we don't really have a choice and there are some interesting 
Yeah, choices we can Your progress make. is satisfactory. I've been authorized to provide your colony with a small reward. Choose wisely. Oh, okay. Well, the fact that we've got plenty of food coming in for now, yes, yeah, 5.5 .5 in the going up. That's not bad. I think, yeah, we'll take the nanites because that can come in handy. Fine. And before you give me a, another mission, yeah, let's have a look. What have we got? Space elevator. Okay. Stadium. The Earth History Center. What is what we need to build ultimately to complete this mission? But, okay. Decorations. Okay. Increases air quality and entertainment morale in the surrounding areas. Okay. So that's nice if, yeah, to make people happy, do whatever. What have we got down here? Hospitals. Decontamination unit. Okay. Right, watch out for that because I've got a feeling we might be needing them. Retail. Okay, we can build shops. Fine. A bar and grill. Enhance this. Support the distribution of enhancers manufactured from native plant species which can modify the morale, health, and productivity of your colony. So, okay. I can drug them. Fine. Food and entertainment building offers two modes which can either increase food quality or entertainment morale in the surrounding areas. Okay, interesting. Research center. Yep, yeah, we're going to have to build that, but I need to get more power. Okay, there's artifacts we can get. Okay, I've got the air filter or the intake fan. Intake fan is cheaper and, yeah, produ eh, produces more, well, produces the oxygen that they need. But if there's any poison in the air, yeah, it'll also suck that into the colony as well, where the filter, yeah, doesn't. Okay. We'll have to keep an eye on that because, yeah, at the moment, yeah, the O2 is fine. Right, well, we know it's power we need so let's have a the geothermal yeah that's 200 power so it, I, I was right about it fitting here okay Pre prevent release of toxic gases good so if i put you on there connect you oh okay I was hoping to get it in the centre, but I guess not. Fine. That should produce more than enough power for everything else. And while that's building, what have we got? Commissioner Veronica, and I'd like to make a few recommendations as to how to best serve your people. I'm way ahead of you. An 18 pasta. Nice. Okay. So, one step ahead of you there, love. In fact, I think next, now that's been built, and yeah, we'll get some colonists in. Oh, steam recovery mode. Prioritize water extraction over generation, producing three water an hour at the cost of 50. Oh. So we could drop it down to half and get water out of it. It's not too bad to be honest but no we'll leave it for now and yeah it looks like we're running short on colonists so two things i want to do i want to build yeah a greenhouse because yeah when we get to winter i still want to be choosing food and okay is that yeah, that's still affecting whatever it is. So we know melons is the best option. Okay, I've had a look around. And by the looks of it, yeah, the best we're going to get is a 9.1. But it is right next to the geothermal. So hopefully that's not going to affect the crops. But you know what? 9.1, 
4.5 in winter. I think we'll take it. That will do for now. And as I was saying before, where's it gone? There we go. There is an immigration center so I can allow more people to join. So we're going to be building that. The issue is where? Thinking, yeah, if we put it up by the farm here and where the water is. Oh, is that too far away? Do I want it down near the living quarters? I'm not sure, really. Okay, you know what? No, let's go where I was going to go originally. Put it up there. And, yeah, we've also got policies we can look at. Okay, at the moment, all we can do is rationing. Um, but we don't need to do that yet because we should hopefully be getting enough of everything coming in. Um, but there are plenty of other ones we can do. Ooh, free gaming. Nice. But yeah, um, to yeah, indicate how we want to run this place. So, alright, check back at that at a later date date i guess we don't need it now anyway let's get these built shall we and hopefully have a few new people join us your colony could benefit from more residential space okay build an outpost okay and, oh i completely forgot about the residential ones okay outpost or a habitat well okay we'll do an outpost up here for now so yeah when they land they've got somewhere to go straight away if needed okay and what do you want ah winter's coming apparently okay and you know what we are getting a bit bigger so let's upgrade you again to tier three what's the maximum tier we can have and here we go our first lot of new colonists are arriving. Nice. Okay, let's get down here so we can see them. See where they go. Oops, wait a minute. Come on, where are you? Okay. Yep, winter. Yep, that one's been completed. There we go. There's one of our colonists. Fine. I don't know how many people arrive, but hopefully as winter sets in, in yeah they'll be fine right what have we got for me now we have some thoughts on how to best expand your company okay nanite process at five that's quite a bit of food as well and apparently nobody actually landed because we're still at 16. okay and you want nanites fine but i am running out of workers here right so the nanites need, yeah, whatever, the copper, that was it, I forgot what it was for a moment. So, put you into there. We've now got three drones, so, yeah, we can build a lot faster. What have we got? There we go! Three immigrants, there we, five. We've got three coming in on the next ship, apparently. Good! Nice to see. Winter is... Yeah. You're not doing anything at the moment. Oh, use potash. Okay. Use fertilizer from the colony's inventory. Enhancing effect by 40%. I've got 50 left. Interesting. Okay. Keep an eye on that. And here we go. Hopefully this is now going to be... The new ones. Now we'll get to here. There we go. And um, where are they? Come on. Show me. There you go. There's one of the new ones. Hello. Guo. Five. Okay, yeah, we're up to 19 now. That's good. You could benefit from increased storage capacity. Okay, and oh. Soda. Okay. Very unhealthy, but you know, it's gonna make them happy. Mini storage. 
fine. Packaging storage, oh yeah, mini storage. Uh, right. You know what? Might as well keep it nearby to the nanite and all that stuff. There we go. Right. That's that being built. You're still producing some food. In fact, it is still more than enough food from what we need. Okay. I think... Actually, saying that, I think we need more power. No, we just need more people in here. So, put you up to high priority. That should hopefully bring more people into there. And another reward. Your progress cool. is satisfactory. I've been authorised to provide your colony with a small reward. Choose wisely. Oh, I will be. And I know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Immigrants. I need more people here to work. So I'll take them. Although the nanite was tempting. But yes, I will take that. And I'm going to switch you up to 22 now, if you don't mind. So hopefully, yeah, I should... Hmm. I don't know why it's not giving me any water, but okay. And I've got two missions now, apparently. I'd like to recommend that you increase the amount of residential space in your colony. Okay, I need a habitat and... Here's your next population growth target. Okay, population 50. Bloody hell. Actually, I just need to double what I've got. That's not too bad. Okay, fine. Habitat it is. And you can come down here. You're nicer. Okay, so... Plunk you down there. Okay. And it looks like, yeah, we're now on year two. So, back into spring. Fine. There we go. You're done. Just got to get up to 50 population. What will happen as long as I can keep everybody happy. So, yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Bar and grill. Let's put some food in. So, yeah. You go there. That would be nice. And we have some thoughts on how to improve the air quality in okay. the colony. Intake fan. I wonder how long it'll be until you want me to do that. Fine. Okay. Air quality's not too bad. So yeah, you just go. You know what? Go next to the bar and grill. There we go. That should keep people happy. Right. What have we got a choice of? Bisto. Okay, increase food quality or entertainment. Nope, that can just be for entertainment for people to relax. The colony could really benefit from a trade facility. Okay, fine. Trade. I'll keep that down this way, I think. Okay, trade. In fact, oh, I can't put it there. Oh, I don't want to block off. You know what? put you into there and just to make sure yeah I'm gonna put you down there and you can come down that way just so I've got yeah I don't have to do it this way I can just put building on building but you know what it just seems better that way okay trade hubs yeah hover car station yeah, you know what? Let's get some hover cars in. So, when they arrive, they can use that one. And then I'll put another one down this way. So, instead of them having to walk from over here to here, they can just use the hover cars. Okay, that'll be nice. And bloody hell, you throw yeah, more at could benefit from a few upgrades. Okay, fine, I will when I get a second. Hello, Chief. I have a new opportunity. Okay, export 100 melons. Fine. So... Let's do that one. Thank you. Right. And you want that upgrading. Fine, let's do it. That's going to add more power. But, yeah, I kind of... 
need you to get up to full power to begin with. We're actually up to 32, so we're doing pretty well. Okay, and there you go. There's one of the little transport ships, the hover cars. Nice. See if we can find another one going back in two. There we go. Whee, somebody's using it. Okay, and the problem is you could just go straight into the house there or into here, and I'm not going to see you. It's the only problem with having things, yeah, next to each other, not done through the tunnels. Okay, well, that's fine. And we have some thoughts on how to best expand your colony. Okay, more drones. Okay, you're really pushing me here, but I might as well get a... Ah, they only have a limited area. Okay, that's good to know. So, you know what? Let's put you there for now. That's going to be another three that can help. And, yeah, I've got a police drone. So, you know what? Let's put you here. I know there's no crime at the moment, but, hey, might as well have them ready to make sure no crime is going on. So they are just throwing missions at me so fast. Oh, cargo pod nearby. I think you should... Up. Pick up a cargo pod. Okay, where? Ah, I saw you before. Okay, a construction drone can acquire the contents. Okay, yeah. I'm glad I put you down here now. There we go. Thank you for that. And of course, another mystery. I right? need your help to balance our supplies on the colony ship. Okay, fine. Rice. Do that, and I get past the forest. So it's not too bad. And of course, end of the mission. The colony could benefit storage. storage. Okay. Class. I mean, you might as well do them because, yeah, the rewards are really good. So, fine. Put you in there. Uh, oh, look at all six of them building. Nice. Okay, so there is lightning that can strike it, but yes, the lightning tower can only protect buildings inside its range. Okay, so I need to build a lightning tower to protect me from oh, plasma turrets. Very nice. Okay, yeah, to protect it from lightning. So oh, there we go. There's just a lightning strike there. You know what? That looks good to me there. So, and it's right next to the battery. And in fact, you know what? Let's upgrade the battery as well while we're here. Thank you very much. Rice is nearly done. I've even put a rice farm in. It's not going to, yeah, do too much. But at least it's given me a bit more food. And, yeah, it helps towards the rice exports as well. I'm low on water apparently, okay. We have some thoughts on how to best expand your colony. Three additional buildings, your okay. colony is undergoing a hydration crisis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I trust you'll secure additional water supplies post haste. I am. Right, so... Let's put you... It doesn't say how much water it's going to get. So, okay, I'll put you down this side. That'll get me a little bit. And where was that one up here? Now, there's a nice one up here. 27. Yeah. In fact, you know what? One, two, three. That's a nice area there. Plenty of water and... Yeah, just bring you down that way. And put you there as well. Good. And you know what? While we're at it, where is it? You. We'll put a hover... C oh, okay. It's too close apparently to one we've already got. Fine. I can't put another hover cart station in. That's not a problem. Right, let's get them built. Okay, we've got three more water pumps in there. So hopefully, yeah, as people start to land, we can hopefully get some more 
more to him, but I'm also going to upgrade them as well. Okay, I can't upgrade you. I think you're already upgraded, that's fine. And yeah, I got a supply pod dropped. So I was just dismantling that. That's all that bit was there. You're now up fine. And oh, another reward. Well done. I'm pleased with the progress of your colony. You may select one of the following resources. Okay. Potash would be nice, but no. We do the 12. Not only is that going to help fill out, yeah, the water pumps, but it's also going to get us over 50. So, take it. There we go. We've got our 50 once it lands. And I think I'll put the water pumps up to, yeah, high priority. Because we do... There we go. Water is coming in now. Very, very nice. Okay, so water's coming in, food is flooding in, and okay, I've got two more missions. We'd like you to increase the colony's population. Okay, a hundred, fine. Your colony could benefit. Upgrade a farm, fine. There we go. Let's do that. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think you get the point. This is avian colony, and. It's been really, really fun. I've got the basics pretty hey, quick. I got a special there objective. we go, research. Fine, so we can start doing research and get better buildings or more productive buildings or anything else like that. And, yeah, we're pretty good, really. And I've really, really enjoyed it. So, if you like the look of this, link in the description below and let me know and I'll consider coming back and maybe doing a mini series on it or just an extra long video, maybe something in sandbox. I don't know. We'll see how people like it and what your thoughts on it are. Let me know down below if you'd be interested in anything like that. But in the meantime, I've been San Casey 4. This has been Avian Colony. Thank you so much for joining me. Look after each other. And until next time, goodbye.